back home. Shooby-doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. <laughs> Shooby-doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. We are eating something new today. We are eating and I'm not here to play. Uh -uh. I'm not here to play. Look what we're having for the first time. The brand new Cheetos chicken sandwiches. Those are such cute boxes. I got three of them because I'm hoping I like them. I also got a lot of extra, 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 extra stuff. We got here some biscuits. I got an eight piece because, you know, I'm hungry. Hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. Eight pieces of crunchy, crispy chicken. What's in here? Oh, there's my sides. Oh, how's my... Oh, it comes with gravy. The last time it didn't come with gravy. We got a large macaroni and cheese. I love KFC. And we got, oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought the gravy was for the chicken. I'm like, oh, finally. Do they do that now? I don't know. No, this is my large mashed potatoes. The gravy is supposed to go into this. And that's it. But this is a lot of, oh, wait a minute. I also got the $5 fill up, which is so... Wait a minute, wait a minute, where's my cookie? It's supposed to come with a cookie. Oh, shoot. That's okay. We're gonna pretend like the cookie's here and we're still happy. <laughs> you guys ever, man, drive throughs have been so, yeah, they didn't put the cookie in the, um, the biscuit box. You guys ever feel that way about food? Like, when you go to the drive-thru. Anyways, let me get everything set up. I'm so excited to try this. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. And we're gonna see how it is. So thank you so much for joining me today. And welcome to my new channel. Please consider subscribing. You're on Nikocado 3. I know. Three, three out of like 50 in the future. No, I'm joking. Um, this is my last channel, but this is my new and final mukbang channel. And everything seems to be going good, knock on wood. Things seem to be better here than the other two channels, which is very sad but it's working out and I'm happy and I hope you're happy too. Let's begin the show. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bam! Uh, look at my thumbnail. I was holding that for the thumbnail. I don't even know. Like, these boxers are so cool. They're cheetah. Cheetah, cheetah girls. Hey, did you ever watch that in, on Disney Channel? I did. I loved the cheetah girls. But I didn't like, I actually just like that So Raven by herself. Wait, was that So Raven and Cheetah Girls? Yes, she was. All right, I'm excited. These look amazing. They were reheated because I want them extra, extra. They're not even that cold to begin with, but here we go. All right, so it looks, see how like the Cheetos melts a little bit when they cook it? Here we go. That is not what I expected. I expected, excuse you. Look at that. I expected this to be dry. Mmm. They put something on here. That's not mayonnaise. That's something, though. I actually expected this to be a lot worse. Now, I added in some Cheetos for the thumbnail. Hi. So, I'm editing this right now. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, my God. Come back. Okay. So, go to the 22-minute mark if you want more chit-chat. Those of you that don't really care for the eating show, but you're here for the talking. If you like the jimble jumble white noise as you're doing mundane tasks, well, here I am to keep you company. 22-minute mark if you want the talking. I do talk throughout all of this, but I'm really hungry, too, so I'm eating a lot um, like a pig. Enjoy. 22 minute mark. Let's take out the Cheetos that I added, which were these up here at the top. Let's keep the ones that they had, which are these here at the bottom. See how like their Cheetos, it melts. It like gets all melty or something. That's what I'm saying. Like this was this was not dry as, th as I thought it would be. That's actually pretty good. Wow. It's actually pretty good. Oh my god! Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? We gotta try this mac and cheese, but... What? What? 
what, what? Look what I found, my cookie. Freshly baked, I don't even eat sweets, but I was craving my cookie. Christmas, oh. Don't you love Christmas? Mmm, 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 mmm. It's the biggest meme right now on my channel. My channel, not the internet. I hate fries. Five seconds later, look at these delicious fries. I hate sweets. Also, Nikocado. Mmm, cookie. <laughs> Let's have some crunchy chicken together. This is the regular crisp crunchy. Oh yeah. Sounds like, ooh. Now, I wish they would give me gravy for the chicken. This is for the mashed potatoes. I realized I can't eat all that. Today is all about the Cheetos. Yes. Oh my God. I haven't had Cheetos forever. Take all oh, the bags right here. I'm gonna show you the bag. Costco sells these ginormous Cheetos bags. And I got one. I also got one of Doritos too. Mmm. But yeah. Can I dip this in? It's for my potatoes, but. Wow, that went by really fast. Let's do this. Cheers. Thank you guys for being on my new channel. So today I posted my video with Yanni. Do you guys see it? It's on my main channel. Let's talk about that video. It came out yesterday, well today, yesterday for you. Mm. The top comment, someone reviewed it and said, they sound possessed from a demon. Some crazy cult. We love cheese. We love cheese. <laughs> that was kind of funny. What do you guys think of the comments over there? What I say to all my collaborations, well, more so my recent ones. I think back in the day, I was like, oh my God, I hope people don't make fun of my guest. But nowadays, I tell all my collaborations. I'm like, don't read the comments. We had fun. Don't let people's opinions ruin our relationship. Remember what happened to Veronica and Stephanie Sue? They let the opinions and the jokes ruin them. Don't do that. It's kind of hard not to. I totally understand. But yeah, anyways, back to me and Yenny. Ooh. Ooh. Have I ever had... I think one time me and Carly stopped talking for like a couple weeks. Ooh, because everyone said I was annoying on her channel and the comments made me feel sad. And then vice versa, everyone said she was annoying on my chat. We're like, okay, maybe we shouldn't be friends. <laughs> but we don't care now. Mmm. I want some Cheetos dip to put this in. Ooh, we'll do it in my mouth, go. Oh, mmm. Hot and steamy. So honey. People said I said her name wrong. He honey. I know. There's no he. It's just honey. Like the the Y is so short. Basically honey. Hi honey. There, I said honey. Yanni. 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 It's not honey, and it's not he honey. It's honey. There you go. See, I did it. I speak Korean. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. I was calling her he honey, and my baby like he ha, like a donkey. He ha, honey, he ha, <laughs> he ha. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, honey. It's okay. I have people call me Nikado and Nikado, Nikado, Nikado. I don't know. 
I hear Nakato a lot. I don't take it personal. I hope. I hope she's not mad. I don't think she is, but. I mean, you have to really like Cheetos to get th to get this. <laughs> It's not as dry as I imagined. There's something buttery about it. However, if they would have made some kind of... Oh, that's good, though. The more I chew it, the more I like it. Mm. I was going to say, if they came out with a Cheetos sauce, like, blended up the Cheetos with some kind of nacho, like a Cheetos nacho thing to put in there, so when you bite it, sauce runs down your face, then you know that's top. That doesn't seem like it would be too expensive, but it would make it even better. It's very good, though. I can't put it down. Wow. Yeah, the bottom has some kind of butter thing. Not butter, but something greasy. Mmm. Orlin said something funny. Listen. He said, because I've had a sponsorship and I've had some kind of collaboration. Now, I don't sign non-disclosures with my collaborations. That would be funny. There's rumors about some YouTubers doing that. That, like, these are really, 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 really famous YouTubers and when they get together, wow. Okay, I went from regular to like really bright shine bright like a diamond anyways they signed on his closure so you can't sue each other for slander or whatever they do i mean you can't sue people on youtube in general period the first amendment amendment but uh, is it too bright i don't even know who just texted me oh amazon um what was i saying forget what i was saying oh yes when KFC and Cheetos get together, they're like, let's merge our products. Blech. Excuse me. I don't really want the, the wing. Let's do a leg. Let's put, can I put it in some, can I do this please? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Orland said, imagine the amount of paperwork, oh no, that goes into it. Mmm. There you go. Gravy with chicken. Why don't they do that? Jollibee does it automatically. Church's chicken, I think, does it. I only got gravy for my potatoes. Anyways, imagine the amount of paperwork. Licensing, figure out, well, I'll promote Cheetos at my restaurant, but Cheetos is like, well, I gotta have 20% for every order. They probably have binders and binders and all these lawyers just so they can have KFC and Cheetos on the same box right now. This year was probably millions of dollars of contracts right here. Tens of millions. Cheetos has also snuck their way into um, Taco Bell. But currently they have the, the Doritos at Taco Bell. I want Cheetos to come to Sonic. Sonic is my thing. Sonic is my favorite. Um, let's do this one. Ooh, look at this chunk. Mmm. KFC is on point today. Perfectly greasy. Perfectly crunchy. Oh my god. Oh my god. With Cheeto. Oh my god. We love cheese. Alright, let's go back to honey. You guys know we talk to each other all the time. 
for like a couple months, it was every day. Sorry, honey, don't put you on blast. Maybe you want people <clears throat> to know that we're friends, but not that good. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Sometimes I talk to people a lot. I'm like, I don't really want people to know I talk to this person. <laughs> Maybe she's like, I really like you, Nick, but let's just pretend we're like, just nice clubs. <laughs> um, oh my God, buttery. Oh, there's fat in there. Mm. And um, we talk so much about everything. Sponsorships, algorithm, YouTube drama, people. We share opinions. And she's been so supportive of me. Um, when I've struggled, this lighting is getting too, I don't know, it feels too bright. She's been supportive of me emotionally when I'm having a bad day and I'm worried about something. See, sometimes I worry a lot. And she helps put things in perspective and makes me know, oh, no, 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 you're correct about this. Or, oh, no, give it another week. Oh, wait, no, you're correct about that feeling. That's for sure. You know, she helps keep me sane. <laughs> it's a good friend. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm having a blast here. And our video, I think, was perfectly balanced with eating and talking. Probably more eating than a lot of you guys are used to, from me especially. But the barbecue video on her channel, we talked literally, it was a two hour video. She cut it down to like 40 minutes. That video, I swear, was two hours long. It, wow, we had so much conversation. And then the spicy chicken and cheese one, we talked a lot, and that was for my channel. The new to one for her, I think we did a little less talking, and then the least less talking was the one for my channel, which, was that the last video we did get? No, the last one was for her channel. I forget. Uh, mm. But, I feel it was a good break from the chit chat more into the eating. I'm eating a lot right now. I am know. Usually I do not pick out this much. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Mmm. Why does that be so tasty? Like, I want to complain about it because it's getting dry. I just love the flavor. Put some Cheeto sauce in there. Done. Great. Great thing. Mmm. Mm hmm. We love cheese. What's happening? Amazon, you're super. Something? Oh, that's something for the tomato garden, I think. Ooh. Mm mm mm. I'm in love with this chicken. I'm gonna have this big piece right here. Mm hmm Cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm I love how the bucket was a bucket. When you go to order this, it says Feeds four people. Mm -mm. One sloth. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Well, oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you coming here. 
So I'm like, oh yeah. Well, that's not what I was thinking of. I thought of something that escaped my mind, but I'm like, let me just thank you while I'm here. Thank you for being here. My third eating channel. <clears throat> Never in a million years did I think I would be doing this with my life. Ooh. There's a moment in my collab with Yanni where I was like, well, honey, you, you hold in your burps and you hold in your farts. And she busted out laughing. And I made the funniest stuff. So like, and I actually ended up editing that one part out. I just looked a little too, like, like I enjoy farts too much. And one time I mistakenly said <laughs> in a live stream, well, here now I'm telling everyone on YouTube, great. I said in live stream, like, oh, farting could be a turn on for some people. Not <clears throat> saying I have it, excuse me. But I can understand why. Well, all the viewers from that live stream were like, okay, clearly this is your way of tiptoeing around it. You do get turned on by farts. And then I like went into more detail. I'm like, well, not farts, but I do, okay. <laughs> and I was so afraid that people will remember that live stream and comment that on the video and I never told Honey. Now she's watching. Oh my god. And she'd be like, ew. Mmm. <laughs> wow. There's no way you're watching this and not being hungry. Mmm. Mmm. We love cheese. I also want to say, my exercise, my daily walks, daily walks, they just open me up like, not like that, you know what I mean? Like they just make me, ah, life is good. Imagine where you went, anyway. <laughs> Like, wow, you're not opened up at all. You're clogged. But they really just make me feel so happy. Like, exercise is nature's medicine. And Orland said he read a study, probably true. Well, studies only suggest things. They don't prove things, usually. But it suggested with evidence, highly, that... Oh, ah, Cheetos are good. <laughs> Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado, And if you do... I might just follow you back. That the more plants you look at that goes through your eyes and you receive it into your mind, the more you look at plants, feel plants, breathe plants, lowers your risk of heart disease, stress-induced strokes, high blood pressure, just people, even if you eat the worst diet in the world, just being out in the woods, going to a nature park, will turn you around. And let me just be honest, I'm not going on a diet. I'm not looking to go on a diet. There's no need for me going on a diet. I mean, yeah, I'm chubby, but I'm not like, okay, he can't walk, he needs to be in a wheelchair soon type of chubby. <laughs> like, I'm okay. And I feel good. But, you can be thick and active at the same time. And it's good to do both. I mean, it's good to be thick, yeah. Um, and so, I'm only, I'm not changing my diet, not changing my lifestyle. I still drink lots of water. But, um, I also sleep a lot. But what I'm changing is my activity. And I walked for an hour and it came down to almost 8,000 steps. Now, someone said there's a 10,000 step a day challenge. Maybe I should do that. I should get a device that measures it. All 
I, I like to do that. Because I think just walking, no running, no crazy exercise, will make all the difference. For me, and I don't even feel bad, but some days it gets a little too much. Anyways, um, the walks feel great. I love walking in it around the neighborhood. Fortunately, my parents live in a good neighborhood. That's nice. And if you don't, go outside your neighborhood. If you live in a sketchy place in the Bronx, take the subway. Well, okay, I know that costs money. But the next time you happen to be by Bryant Park, Central Park, the high, the high rise, high line, high line. Walk there. I would love to live next to Central Park. Oh, don't even get me started on New York. Let's go. I know. Nick, why aren't you there? Come on, Nick, why aren't you there? Come on. I know, I know. Orland and I are going very soon. The problem is it's getting so hot. I think I would enjoy New York more in the fall. But we have to live there. Mmm. Mmm. We love ooh cheese. I wonder when the first hurricane's gonna hit Florida though. I'm happy not to be there. In general. Mmm. Mmm, there's something buttery. Mm. I'm happy not to be there in general, but I'm very happy to avoid the hurricane season. I would have had to leave anyway. Probably would have come here. <laughs> we love cheese. Uh, mm. Let's put this into the gravy. See right there, it gave it some moistness. If my sandwich was more moist, I would eat it with no complaints. Mmm. Mmm, what a sandwich. <laughs> Did you know that the windshield of your car has UV protecting qualities? I had no idea. I thought truck drivers who are always driving in the sun, the sun beating on their arms, I thought they had the worst skin, or like the highest rates in America of skin cancer. Well, that's if their side windows are down and they're they're hanging their arms out while driving. Er, 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 beep, beep. But it's the, the windshield. Now, it might not be all cars, it might be newer cars, it might be more expensive cars. There's something called laminated glass, where they put a sheet of laminated paper, a laminated plastic in the middle of two glasses put together. And it's supposed to protect you for when you crash. Instead of like having pieces fly in your face or pieces fly everywhere, the plastic holds onto it like glue. So you could take a hammer, smash the, fr the windshield and nothing would happen. And you'll smash it five to just Google it or look on YouTube. I watched a video about laminated glass and I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing. They took a baseball bat and they went wham, 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 and a window have like like a fake robbery. Oh my God, the comments were so funny. Because <laughs> like the laminated glass prevented him from getting through. Eventually he got through after like two minutes of wham, 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 with a bait metal bat, which gives you plenty of time to grab your gun, call the police, go hide in the closet, climb out the other window, go hide in the basement, lock the door. It gives you time to do something, get your knives, get your pepper spray. Um, but yeah, they said that same type of glass they use on front windshields 
It's also, in addition to being less breakable, um, but the sun, does when it goes through it, it bounces off or absorbs it, reflects it something, so that your skin is not getting UV rays while you're driving. I did not know that. Oh my God, the comments under this video though, people are like, wow, that's an amazing glass. It'll be like dot, 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 looks at my window, regular glass. <laughs> like, oh, I got regular glass on my window. <laughs> Ah, this was good. Let me finish this. I'm kind of slowing down. I finished this, right? All the chicken was good. Oh, let's finish this chicken here. Oh. Mm. Sorry, those were bones or cartilage or something. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. This was a fun video. This was great. I really enjoyed this. Oh my God. But yeah, imagine if I lose like say five ten pounds ten pounds while still being a daily mukbanger just from adding ten step ten thousand steps to my day that should encourage it now i'm not going to be religious about it i know or like we're not going to weigh myself every day i know some youtubers do that and i know it has great intention and i feel so bad for them because sometimes you're like actually no I don't feel like you're losing weight now, or mm, I kind of want to have some more cheat days, which is totally your right. Well, the viewers get all upset. They're like, you're supposed to be losing weight. You're still heavy. Bah, 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 bah. And you kind of just make everyone against you when they, originally they would have loved you had not, you not brought up your weight into discussion anyway. I mean, I joke about my water weight, but I'm not like, you guys, I'm dying. Oh my God. You guys have diabetes or you guys, I'm so sick, oh my god, or I need to be vegan, I care about the animals. Meanwhile, I'm like, ah, rah, 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 you know. There are some YouTubers that be that way. You're better off not even mention it. Now, people will always make fun of your weight, but maybe not as much, as much as you think had you not brought it up. If you announce to everyone you're on a little weight loss journey, well, shoot, you better lose some weight or they're gonna come, they're gonna come get you. So, I'm not really going to talk about it, but I am telling you here that maybe I should do, I need, what's the app from, for the phone? 10,000 steps a day. Um, let's look at my app store. Search 10,000, oops, not 20,000, 10,000 steps. There we go. 10,000 steps get, yeah, we're going to do this. Up. Oh asks for my password we're gonna do it processing payment it's free thank goodness for free apps all right we're gonna do this 10,000 steps today I'm not promising when I'm gonna go from a size XL to a size S I'm still gonna be big but I'm probably gonna feel better I'm gonna digest my food better my metabolism is gonna be nice and ramped up as it usually is and I'm just gonna feel better and Something like that can make all the difference in preventing problems. And again, I'm not one to really, I uh, haven't had any issues, thank goodness, but yeah, I'm, I'm good. All right, so 10,000 steps a day. Just something for myself and maybe every day on my Twitter or Instagram, be like, hi guys, 10,000 steps today or more than, that's the minimum. Oh, I have to make an account. We'll do this, I'm on camera right now, but, but watch, if I can actually lose weight and feel better as a mockbonger, the worst of the worst. I mean, this is terrible. What I do is terrible for your health. If I can lose 10 pounds from 10,000 steps a day in like a month or two, I hope that encourages you and you're not a mockbonger and you don't stuff your face for a living, that you can do it too. I would like to inspire people. I feel like people would just hate me. They're like, that's not fair. But I do lose weight very quickly. You guys remember, before Tosh.0, oh, I lost a good 10, 15 pounds. Didn't 
do anything. Didn't take diet pills, didn't take whey protein, didn't lift weights, didn't run, didn't, all I did was walk. And I was only filming like, what, every two or three days for my main channel. This is before Nikocado 2, it was before Nikocado 3, which we're on right now. Oh my God, sounds awful just voicing it out loud of all these channels. But all I did was walk and focus on my diet between the mukbangs. And by diet, I meant just like, um, no fried food, no di I took dairy out. That's pretty drastic. But, and I lost 15 pounds, like, and that was in a month. Like, if I could go three months and lose 15 pounds, slow and steady wins the race. I was starting to get skinny. And I remember on Touch Point, I was like, wow, my skin looks per. Luckily, my skin's always really nice. I don't really get many major skin issues. But, um, I do lose weight really fast, and I'm lucky. All I have to do is walk. I don't have to do crazy exercises. I don't have to starve myself the fact that I've gained what 10 pounds 20 pounds in the past year not when I first started mukbangs yes it's been probably 80 since then but we're talking the last year it's been about 20 pounds from 300 overeating sessions should tell you how lucky I am you know and it took me that long to gain 10 pounds, 20 pounds. If I just start doing 10,000 steps a day, I could probably lose it in a couple months. I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm being too confident. And you know what? If I lose two pounds in two months, I don't care because I just feel good. And I know psychologically it's better for you. It makes you sleep better, which means you repair better. Your memory gets better. You know me and memory problems. Um, it makes all your organs work better. Um, exercise is good. Not over-exercising, not busting your joints so that you need knee surgery because you can't heal your joints. I'm not talking about doing crazy weightlifting to compact your spine. No, just walk. And I'm so excited for it. Yay, you guys are proud of me. But I, I shouldn't talk about that much because again, I don't want to be one of those, those YouTubers who in good faith announces that they're starting a new project and then they decide they don't want to fish or something comes up or they change their mind, which I mean, I do all the time. Well, because you announced it, everyone's going to come and get you. I've, I don't want to do that. <laughs> don't get me. Ten thousand steps a day. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Well, <clears throat> I'm basically done. Let me finish this. We love cheese. Yes, we do. How about you? We love cheese. Mmm. 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 -mm. C-O-L, colonel. C-O-L dot Harland Sanders. What C-O-L stand for? Let's ask Siri. Siri. <clears throat> what does C-O-L stand for? Call means the lowest point of a ridge or saddle between two peaks typically affording a pass from one side of a mountain range to another. What does COL stand for abbreviation on the KFC box? I found this on the web. What does KFC stand for? What does KFC stand for? Uh-uh. You're not paying it. Excuse me. Um, I'm not, huh? Uh, no, you're not. I'm asking for COL dot. What does that stand for? I'm not sure I understand. Of course you don't. Let's just look up ourselves. C-O-L. Meaning. It's a ridge. A col is the lowest point on a mountain ridge between two peaks. That's not. Col colon colonal. Colonal. For a business. Customers own leather. C-O-L. <laughs> I, I think the world may never know. Colonel, 
Is this a sergeant? Is Kentucky? Is this? It's like is this a, a, a sergeant from the Civil War? What does colonel mean? He ha. Get your rifles, colonel. Like who is a like you have Mister and Mrs. You have Miss, as in Miss CEO. You have <clears throat> Junior. You have what other abbreviation? Oh. Oh, doctor, D-R, dot, doctor. Um, what's a C-O-L? I've never heard of that. Uh, have you met someone named C-O-L? Hi, I'm C-O-L, Nikocado Avocado. Maybe it's a stepped up from C-E-O. Mm. Watch, she's going to change her Instagram to C-O-L. <clears throat> oh... Speaking of her, let's talk about Miss CEO for a second. You know, there's some some people who are just so exhausting. Anyways, I all I'm gonna say is that some people won't learn, and they can post as much as they want about growth and inspiration and character development and God wants to be on this path and every hardship has an, a, a, a blessing in disguise and every purpose comes in life. You know, and they will say all this to make them feel better and just completely avoid responsibility. You know, again, it's, it's now beyond me just standing up for a friend. Um, I know it's just awful and she knows it we all know it and now it's moved on to me just reacting just to someone who's bugging me now like, ugh. you know but it's just people people are like this in life they will go to such great lengths to avoid the truth they will go to such great lengths where they don't have to they don't have to take any type of responsibility and that's wrong, and it's something that should always be called out. Um, oh, the cat's eating. I'm like, is that the ghost again? Uh, oh, one thing I don't like about... One thing I don't like about walking, I got a bug bite on my finger. Luckily, the bugs here are not that bad. In Florida... <laughs> feels so good to be out of Florida. Florida... Florida. Florida is terrible when it comes to mosquitoes. Don't matter what part of Florida you're in, it is awful. Awful, just awful. And I feel really happy to be here. Oh, I put my whole hand in. Mmm. Oh. So happy to be out of there. Oh, the bugs. And today is a very hot day. Today is really hot. And it was humid, too. And I went outside to the garden with Orlin. And I looked at him. I'm like, you know, this is still nothing compared to Florida. He goes, oh, yeah, I know. This is a nice, crisp spring day in Florida. I'm like, yeah. A nice, crisp spring day. And here we're at the hottest month. I think August is the hottest month. I remember when I lived in New York, August was brutal. So I really need to go now so I can get air conditioned place. I, I don't want to be searching for a place out in that brutal heat. Anyways, I should get going. Speaking of which, I'm actually gonna go on the computer and start looking at more apartments. So thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat this. I had an amazing time. Everything's delicious, KFC. I give you 7 out of 10. It's good. Good flavor. Gets all the kids to want it. Nice clickbait. But you need to add some sauce. You need to add some kind of creamy thing to it. I mean, just look at it. It's Cheetos on chicken with some butter on the bottom part to make it a little bit smoother. But this whole top and this whole... You need to add some kind of Cheetos sauce. Probably something inexpensive. Make it out of soy. I don't care. You probably would if you had to. Not real cheese. Do it. It's going to make all the difference. Mm. And then I could give you a 9 or a 10. Not like my opinion matters most. I mean, if you like Cheetos, I would get it. If you're not a Cheetos fan, stick to their chicken. Stick
stick to their wonderfully greasy chicken. Wow. Bye, everyone. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on Twitter, Instagram, and all of my other YouTube channels. Bye. Let's go for a walk again. 10,000 steps. That actually really excites me. I love coming up with stuff. I'm going to be all skinny in a month. You'll be like, wow, who are, who is?